Welcome back. Who says people retire after life's second innings? Mahatma Gandhi fought for freedom struggle after his second innings. This was the best example given by Chairman of Fomento Resources of the Timlo at the third anniversary of Old Age Day Care Centre at Bicholi. Second innings, an Old Age Day Care Centre celebrated its third anniversary. This centre is run by Baba Savekar Seva Trust and Lions Club of Bicholi. Chairman of Fomento Resources, Audut Timlo, Dr. Shekhar Sarkar, Ramakan Shetye and others were present at the function. <laughs> Senior citizens advocate Raghoba Fatte, Mahadev Dicholkar and Mahadev Parab were felicitated on the occasion. A reporter from Bichwale, Uday Parab. And now news from sports. Close on the heels of the J-League tour of Japan, Salgankar Sports Club players along with assistant coach Peter Valles visited the Caritas Orphan Age home on Monday. The players spent some quality time with the lesser fortunate children. This was a community-centric activity for the Green Brigade, a relatively unheard of trend in India. While such activities are common with European clubs, Salgankar Sports Club have set the ball rolling in Indian football. These are children affected by HIV. It is sad enough that these children bear a stigma in society. Hence, Salgaonkar Sports Club's visit to them was a welcoming change. The Goa Marriott Resort were instrumental in making this unique event possible. The children put up a few dance performances for the Green Brigade. Thereafter, the Green Brigade and their assistant coach Peter Valles exchanged a few penalty kicks with the children. Firstly, uh, I would like to thank uh, Father Valeriano for giving us an opportunity to come here and share the joy of winning our Federation Cup uh, with these children. As you know, these children are uh, affected by a very uh, incurable disease. So we would like to spend some time with them. We would like to enjoy. We would like to give them some happiness. Activities that you plan to hold for these children with regards to your sports club? Uh, with regards to our sports club, uh, this, this activity is a part of a community development program and uh, we would like to, uh, you know, take it forward, take it to the next level. Just as a thought, uh, we would like to take these children for the matches, you know, we would like them to hold the hands of our players, you know, and then walk to the center of the ground, you know, and just the way how it is so that the children get a feel of, you know, something special and, you know, they, they just have a good time. So we just want them to be happy. This time the Salganka Football Club has joined hands with us and that's something that we're really thrilled about. Obviously they've had huge success in the last few weeks. Uh, so the club, the hotel, uh, we've been down here today uh, playing football with the kids. They've been performing for us. Uh, we've had an opportunity to hand over a small check of money which has been raised by the staff of the hotel. And uh, as always when we interact with these children, it's a, a really fun time for the team and uh, it's, I think it's been a great day for everybody. From TV, our sports reporter Nikhil Pereira with video journalist Demdir Gaonkar. An exciting fifth round of the professional league saw Salgaonkar Sports Club stopped in their tracks by Flaming Orange as Sporting defeated them by two goals to one. Over at Duler, Santa Cruz Club of Kavalosi were held by Goa Velia. With this draw, Kavalosi have been displaced from the top spot and replaced by Sporting Club while Goa Velia have moved away from the bottom spot of the league standings. Red hot after thrashing East Bengal 3-1, Salgankar Sports Club took to the field with a different belief in themselves. Mehraj Wadu got Salgankar off the mark in the 12th minute itself when he headed the ball into Salgankar's net. 13 minutes later, Vitorino Fernandez scored yet another time this season to get Flaming Orange on level terms. Both teams headed into the first half break 
locked at one goal apiece. In the second half, a tricky tackle by Salgonka defender gave Sporting a penalty. Freeman Pichotto made no mistake. Sporting won two goals to one. I think we played a very bad first half. That's where I think we we, we lost the game. Second half we tried to recover, uh, but uh, it wasn't possible. Um, our finishing wasn't good. Uh, I I thought we, we didn't have an impact on the final uh, third. But the most important is uh, I like the, the attitude of the team on the second half. First half was disaster, but second half we, we tried to pick up the pieces. But it was too late, that penalty also to one, so it's okay. Sagokar is also a very good team, but my boys played well. They played, uh, my boys played uh, according to our system, according to our planification, and uh, they played all out, that is why. And uh, it is not an easy job to my players uh, to defeat uh, such a good team. But I feel happy by the performance of my players. And uh, I wanted to give my appreciation to the team behind the team. Over at Duler, Guavelia's efforts were on to dislodge themselves from the bottom rung of the Pro League table. The side in green and red were pegged back by Santa Cruz Club of Cavalosi in the 24th minute when Dixon Roktau scored in the 32nd minute. On the stroke of halftime, an acrobatic dive across the goal from Randall Dias brought Guavelia on level terms. The match ended 1-1. From Mapsa, our reporter Shamsundar Fatte and Vasco Surendra Madkaikar. And with this, we have come to an end of this news bulletin. Take care and keep watching Prudent Media. Goodbye.